head of our bulletin today says this is the seventh Sunday of Easter, the seventh time you're celebrating Easter. And the sequence of events happens like this, that Jesus arose on Easter Sunday, and the scripture says he stayed with them for 40 days. And 40 days came up last Thursday, which we call Ascension Thursday, because that's the day he ascended into heaven. And he watched the attitudes of the apostles is, is really interesting. After Jesus was, was killed, they hid themselves in the upper room until he appeared to them and said, whoa, Jesus is back. And then they got themselves out again. They even went fishing and they did all kinds of things because Jesus was there. As soon as he ascended into heaven on, on Ascension Thursday, uh-oh, Jesus is gone. Now they're, now they're afraid again. Back to the upper room, close it up, and be, and be scared. And they wait 10 days, and 10 days from last Thursday will be next Sunday, which we call Pentecost Sunday, and that's the time the Holy Spirit comes down upon them, and they are never afraid again. They are just filled. We look at that and we say, well, the comic today prayed that we want to go where Jesus went. We want to go where he went. Exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before. That's the, that's the goal. Now, how do we get there? Well, we get there, but he starts off with baptism. We're baptized into the Lord Jesus Christ. And baptism, we provide the external thing of the baptism, but God does the increase. God does the work. The baptism is an act of God. He enters into the person who is baptized, and that's all of us. He enters into us and puts his life right inside of us in our spiritual side. We are then bearers of Christ. We have Christ within us. We are Christians. St. John in his letter today says, God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life, and whoever does not have the Son does not have life. And I write these things to you who believe, that's us, in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. What a marvelous thing we have. We're settled in with the Spirit of God. We're settled in with the life of Jesus. And Jesus is not gone. Jesus is still with us at every turn. Now the difficult part. Jesus, in his prayer to his apostles the night before he died, prayed these words, and they're scary. I have given them your word, Father. He's talking to his Father. And the world has hated them because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Now, you know what they did to Jesus. And he's telling us, if they did that to me, they're going to do it to you. Wherever have you heard so many Christians being martyred as today? And they kill them right and left just for being Christian. He told us it was a difficult time. That's what they did to him. That's what they're going to do to us. So we're in that kind of weird, weird world. And this world of ours out there right now has got a thing against Christianity. You can say anything against Christianity you want. Because we're docile. We're loving. We don't retaliate with killing them, and they take advantage of us. But Jesus says, don't worry about it. I've got this under control. You, however, are going to be put through some persecutions. Sometimes you in your life out there might meet people who are against the church, against Christ, and you may be asked to step forward and say, no, I believe in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ has done this for me. So that our faith has to come alive. We've got to express it. We've got to, we've got to tell it. We've got to tell it to our children. We've got to pass this word on. The word is that Christianity is, is in, in a state of uh, decline. We can't let that happen. We've got to strengthen ourselves into the Lord Jesus Christ. And be just as spirited as, spirited as those apostles were from Pentecost to go out and proclaim the resurrection of Jesus Christ and say, He is the Savior. Please believe in Him so that you too, you too, the world, so that you can have eternal life into Him. 
the fi final sentence of the gospel today, he says, as he's talking to his father, as you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. He's talking about us. He's sending you and me into this world. We are the presence of Christ. We make him alive. We make him there. And we're going to get persecuted for it. However big or small, it's not an easy task. So we need to gird ourselves. The psalm today talked about they, we are like trees that are planted by streams of water. This is the stream of water right here. When we come to church on Sunday, we come here to the stream of water to get refreshed so that we can go out there and do what he asks us to do, to proclaim his word, to share his word, to give eternal life to those who don't believe. We need to be here. We need to hear his word and mess ourselves in that faith which we share with each other. It's a program and it works. The Lord will reign and he is letting us reign along with him.